All right, 6.1, ratios, proportions, and the geometric mean. Okay, the ratio of A to B. If A and B are two numbers or quantities, and B does not equal zero, then the ratio of A to B is A over B. Um, in a sec, we'll do an example involving a ratio. A proportion. An equation that states that two ratios are equal is a proportion. So for example, if you have a ratio A over B and you set it equal to some other ratio C over D, this equation as a whole is a proportion. Okay? All right, means and extremes. In the proportion A over B equals C over D, B and C are the means. A and D are the extremes. When we talk about geometric mean, the geometric mean of two positive numbers A and B is the positive number X that satisfies A over X equals X over B. And we'll do an example of this in a little bit. All right, <clears throat> example one, simplify the ratio. 76 to eight, all right, we're gonna write 76 centimeters to 8 centimeters like this. Okay. I'll write it down here also. 76 to 8. The centimeters cancel out. Um, let's see here. If I were to divide this by 4, 4 goes into 76, 4 goes into 7 once, 76 19 times, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, the simplified version of the ratio is 19 to 2. Make sure you put 19 to 2 and not 2 to 19 because 76 came first and then the 8. Alright, so the order does matter. <coughs> okay, now in this case, we have different units. We have 4 feet and 24 inches. So, 4 feet, 24 inches, we know that there are 12 inches in 1 foot. So I'm going to multiply by 12 inches over 1 foot. The feet cancel out, the inches cancel out, so I have 4 times 12 which is 48, 24 times 1, which is 24. 48 and 24, these both divide by 24. 48 divided by 24 is 2, 24 divided by 24 is 1. So this would be our new ratio. And you can actually leave it like this, or you could write it to colon 1. Either way is fine. All right, let's go on to page 2. Okay, example two, you are painting barn doors. <coughs> you know that the perimeter of the doors is 64 feet and the ratio of the length to the height is three to five. Find the area of the doors. Okay, so let's draw a picture. We'll say that these are our doors. We know that the perimeter all the way around is 64. Um, length to height, is 3 to 5. So I'm going to call this um, 3x and 5x. Now if this is 3x, then this is also 3x. If this is 5x, then this is also 5x. Okay. <coughs> so we know that perimeter is just adding all these together. So 2 times 3x plus 2 times 5x. This has to equal the perimeter, which we know is 64. <coughs> I'm going to add a step in here. They don't give enough room for it. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10. So this is what we have. 6x plus 10x is 16x. I'm going to divide both sides by 16. These 16's cancel out. X equals 4. I divided each side by 16. Okay, so we know that the length was 3x and the height was 5x. And x equals 4. So 
3 times 4 is 12. 5 times 4 is 20. So the doors are 12 feet long and 20 feet high. So the area is 12 times 20, which is 240 feet squared. Okay, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to page 3. The measures of the angles, <coughs> excuse me, in triangle BCD are the extended ratio of 2, 3, 4. Find the measures of the angles. So basically, whatever these angles are, we don't know what they are, but we know that if you were to put them in ratio form and simplify, you would get 2, 3, 4. So we can represent them by 2x, 3x, and 4x. Now we know that all the angles inside a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to say 2x plus 3x plus 4x equals 180. 2 plus 3 is uh, 5 plus 4 is 9. So I have 9x equals 180. I'm going to divide each side by 9. 180 divided by 9 is 20. So the angle measures are 2 times 20, which is 40. 3 times 20, which is 60, and 4 times 20, which is 80. And these are all degrees. Alright, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. A property of proportions. If A equals B, or, I'm sorry, if A over B equals C over D, where B and D do not equal 0, then AD equals BC. This is called cross multiplication. Most of you guys are already familiar with it. Here, let me draw a better D here. There we go. So, for example, if we had 2 over 3 equals 4 over 6, we could say 3 times 4, which is 12. 2, oh, I'm sorry, 2 times 6, which is also 12. Okay? Let's go on to page 4. Okay, solve the proportion. We have 3 over 4 equals x over 16. I'm going to cross multiply. 3 times 16 equals 4 times x. 3 times 16, I'll do that over here. 3 times 6 is 18, so you get 48. 48 equals 4x. I'll divide each side by 4. x equals 12. <coughs> In part A, you could multiply each side of the denominator by 16. Okay? x would still equal, tw x would still equal 12. Because 16 times 3 is 48 divided by 4, which is still 12. Alright, let's try this one. I have 3 times x equals 2 times um, x plus 1. I need to distribute the 2. So I have 3x equals 2x plus 2. I'm going to subtract 2x from each side. x equals 2. Alright, example 5. You want to find the total number of rows of boards that make up 24 lanes and a bowling alley. You know there are 117 rows and 3 lanes. Find the total number of rows of boards that make up the 24 lanes. All right. We're going to write and solve a proportion involving two ratios. So we know there are 117 rows in three lanes. Okay. We want to know how many rows make up 24 lanes because they have to be the same ratio. Let's cross multiply. 117 times 24 equals 3 times n. Let's multiply this out. So, I've got 2,808 equals 3n. Let's 
divide by 3. N equals 936. So there are 936 rows of boards that make up 24 lanes. All right, geometric mean. We already know that the geometric mean satisfies this equation. If I were to cross multiply, I would get x times x, which is x squared, equals a times b. If I were to take the square root of each side, x equals square root of a times b. So you could use this equation instead. In fact, this would be the, what I would recommend that you use when finding geometric mean. Okay, so for example, if we're trying to find the geometric mean of 16 and 48, I'm going to find the square root of the product of these two numbers. So 48 times 16, let's see here, um, Seven sixty-eight. I substituted sixteen for A and forty-eight for B. Okay. Now, hopefully, you guys remember how to do the factor tree. We already know. Oops, forgot the square root. We already know that um, seven sixty-eight divides into 48 and 16. This is 4 times 4, which is 2 times 2, 2 times 2. 48, that's um, 6 times 8, 3 times 2, and 8 is, of course, 2 times 2 times 2. So we're going to look for pairs. We got 1, 2, another 2, another 2, another 2. And I'm left with a 3 inside the square root. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So I've got 16 root 3. I'm not sure why they have two extra steps. I suppose I could write it like this. 16 times 16 times 3. You could skip this step if you want. 16 root 3. <coughs> so the geometric mean of 16 and 48 is 16 root 3. And if I were to take out my calculator, square root of 3 is that times 16. This would be approximately 27.7. Alright, I'll let you guys do the last checkpoint. And that's all for today.